Hi everybody, Jody with the Ring Lord here. Welcome to season two, episode two of our beginner weave series, Celtic Star. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get alerted when we release new content on YouTube. Also, make sure to visit our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. So let's get into making Celtic Star. Celtic Star is also called Celtic Vision Circle 6 or 5, depending on how many points your star has. I've got a few different sizes here. This is the one we'll be making in this video. But here's an example of a five point star and then two smaller versions of the same six point star. I will link to a Facebook post I made about different sizes you can make and the ring sizes that you need. So let's get started. There is a list of ring sizes that you will need in the description. So I am going to start with opening a 16 gauge 5 16 ring and I'm going to put 12 closed 18 gauge 3 16 rings on it. If you can't get all of the rings on the large ring and close it, you don't have to put them all on at the same time. You can close the large ring and then add whichever other rings you need to just by opening them and then adding them. So that's what you should have now. I'm going to zoom in just a tad so you can see what's going on here. So this is a three layer project. You've got the two layers that sandwich the third layer. So this is a helm-based weave. Celtic Visions is uh, in the helm family. So with any helm-based weave, you're going to have the helm sandwiches. You can, so what I mean by that are these large rings sandwiching around the smaller rings. You can double the rings in here or you can just have one ring. I prefer the way the double rings look, but it's totally up to you. I just, they don't move as much and I like the fuller look of having the doubled rings. The other thing to note with this weave is because it is double sided, you could have one color of these large rings, the sandwiching rings on this side and another color on the other side. Uh, for this video, it's going to be the same on both sides, but just keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out what colors you want to do. So I'm going to take a 16 gauge 5 16 ring and add it to one pair. It doesn't matter which pair. We're going to add six total large rings at this step. This is our center layer of large rings. So I'm just adding it to two rings and closing the ring. So you will need to go ahead and do this six times to get those six rings added. And you can open and close. So if you wanted to have all your rings open and closed, or, or prepped, I guess, uh, all of the rings except for the 3 16 except for 12 of the 18 gauge 3 16 rings would be open. Or you can open as you go, like I am. But there are no other closed rings in this weave. All right, so once you have your first six large rings on, it should look like this. Now we are going to connect these large rings 
and that is done with 18 gauge 732 rings. And those will be our sky blue rings. So you just literally just scooping down into one large ring and up through the it through its neighbor. And that will be done twice per pair if you're doing the doubled rings like I am. Okay, so it should look like that. And then you just go around and do it to all of these six rings. So you should have 12 18 gauge 730 seconds rings on your piece when you're done with this step. Okay, just about there. Okay. Once you've added these, oops, should look like that. So the next step will be to add the sandwiching rings. To do that, you need to take a large ring, open ring, and you will be going through two of the center rings, but not the same two that your first layer of large rings went through. So you're taking one from one ring, one of these large ring pairs, and its neighbor. And you'll know if you're taking the right rings because it will sandwich or orbit around the two rings that attach that first layer we made. So once you have it on your first pair, go ahead and close it. And then you will do the same thing around the rest of the piece. So you take the neighboring pair its neighboring pair. So you just keep going around. You'll use six large rings in this step. And every time you add a ring, make sure that you have it in the right position by just letting it lay down and make sure that it goes around these two center ring or these two sandwiching sandwiched rings.
once you are done adding those six rings, it should look like this. Whoops. These rings do flip around, so if yours flip around, that's fine. Just put it back where it goes. It's not a big deal. But you can see that mine are all in the correct position because they sandwich the two rings that connect what is now going to be our middle layer, but was the first layer of large rings that we added. So now we're going to flip this over, okay? And it's time to add the other side of the big rings. These go in the exact same position that you just added the other ones. So you wanna make sure again that they are sandwiching around the 18 gauge 730 seconds rings that you added. Okay, so what you will have when you add it is a sandwich. So this side is the very is the layer of rings we just added. And now this side, I've added one and I'm showing you that it makes the helm sandwich. So now go around and add the other five rings. You may have to fiddle with the rings a little bit, but you will have plenty of room to get these rings in. It should not be rigid by any means. And like I said, on the other side, if you need to make sure that you're putting them in the right position, when you lay it down, it will sandwich those rings. And you want to make sure these rings only go through that first, those first rings that we added, the 3 16 rings, they do not go through any other rings. Okay, so we've added the second layer of rings and you can see that they are in the correct place because they sandwich and it makes a sandwich if you look at it from the side. So now what we need to do is add our points. So we're gonna do that in light purple. And these are going to mirror the position of the green rings, meaning that they will go through the same three rings, the large rings, but it will be up here. So there is a little eye right there and it goes, it, it's made by the intersection of these three rings. So that's where you want to place your points. So these are also 18 gauge 3 16 So you can see I went through three rings and these are done in pairs, so each sandwich will have two points, two rings making up the point. It's probably a better way to say it. Okay, so there's the first point. And you want to make sure that you are above these doubled rings when you add these. Sometimes they can get stuck and you just will have to undo the ring and move the center rings back to where they need to be. So you're gonna use 12 rings, 18 gauge, 3 16 in this step. Now these can be a little harder to get in, so you may just have to kind of wiggle the ring until it pops through. But they will go in. So go around and continue adding these rings. And sometimes you may need to open it a little bit more than usual to get it in. Okay. 
The rings I'm using today are all saw cut anodized aluminum. These are our matte rings, so they are not shiny. And I am using them in purple, light purple, green, and sky. And you can use as many colors as you want. I've seen people make rainbows. I've seen people do like a gradient. Uh, you can make them in all one color, however you want to do it. You may need to use different pliers. I, this is one reason that I really love these Tronex made for mailers pliers is they have a very thin jaw at the end. So when you have a ring that has a tight fit like these, I can get right in there with no problem and close these rings. With a jaw that has a thicker end, you may not be able to do that or not as easily. And these pliers come in this jaw length and they also come in a shorter length. So you can see the difference. I use both of them. Um, these are the pliers I use pretty much 99% of the time. So you could be done right now if you don't want to put the, the tips on. So that's these little rings at the edge. That's totally fine. Um, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and put them on so you can see how to do it. So there's two ways you could do this. These are sort of Mobius. I used two 18 gauge 532nd rings and I put one through the other. Um, you could actually, I guess there's three ways you could just put two on just straight, not in, you know, not Mobius. I believe these are 19 gauge nine sixty fourths, So I just doubled it. Or you could just, if your design allows it, you could just put one ring on. Sometimes these help tighten the piece up so you can play with it and see what works best for your star that you're making. So the next thing to do is going to be to open six of the small rings, 18 gauge, 532 seconds. These are just going to pop through these, these end rings. So go ahead and put those on. I go ahead and, and do the whole layer at the same time. And then I'll go back and put on the other rings I was talking about. So now that we're done with these, and again, if you like it like that, leave it like that. These rings could be used to hang the piece. You could put a bail on it. Um, sky's the limit. So that's how it looks with just the one ring. But I'm going to go ahead and add, I just kind of like the way this looks to add the second ring. So you go through the same two rings at the point, or that create the point. Once you've gone through it, you're just going to reach this ring back through the one that's already there and close the ring. So let me show you again. So you're going to go through the two rings that make the point, just like you did with the first tip ring. And you're just going to reach it back and go through the first tip ring that you added.
Oops. And here is the last one. So these stars are really fun to make. They're pretty simple. They've got lots of color possibilities. Um, they've got lots of jewelry possibilities. You could connect a whole bunch of them and make uh, clothing if you wanted to. You could, so that would be like a sheet you'd have to connect the insides or take the points off and connect take the tips off and connect the points uh, you could make a bracelet or a choker or a long necklace a belt uh, you could use these as pendants so you can depending on which way your you want your chain to go either add a ring or just put the chain through one of the rings you can use the center rings as well. Um, if you make them small, you could use them as earrings, keychains. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you have questions about an order or a product, please contact customer service at orders at the ringlord.com and they will be happy to help you. If you have a question or need help with a project, please email me at projecthelp.com. I'm sorry please email me at projecthelp at theringlord.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.